Um, so to stream music, I'm going to use this um, GitHub uh, streaming kit created by the user Tum Tum Tum. Uh, this is a really cool feature and makes things a lot easier for you. So what you need is actually to download this. You click on download zip. And once it's downloaded, you can bring this up, unzips, you can go into streaming kit. And what you want to, so I, I'm clicking on streaming kit here. And this is the class of files you need. So if I get out of that, we can actually just grab this whole folder and put it right up here. Make sure you have copy. And now we have this whole class of files that's going to help us create our streaming music, right? And this is really good. And if you use this, you should give credit. Um, there's actually a license here that says, you know, just you know, just give credit to. I guess it was uh, Thong. Uh, Nguyen, who created this. Um, very cool. Very thankful that he did create it. Anyway, um, so that's the, the classes you need. Now we need to use the methods that access those class. Um, and so first we're going to, let me grab a little code from my other one. We're going to import uh, the main class that you need to import, which is called STK Audio Player. And once you have that, now you have some functionality that you can use. And let's let's kind of show you how that works. Uh, I'm going to grab a bunch of stuff here, and I'll explain this to you. Okay. Okay. So your main variable here is this um, STK audio player, uh, which basically is going what you're going to use to do stop, start, and, and resume, and all that stuff. You're going to use an NS timer as well which is going to basically keep track of where you are in a song. Uh, let me see, I will need to add a few more. Yeah, we need to initialize our audio player. So we should do that in the view did load right here. All right, so that's gonna initialize the audio player. Um, and then we're going to have this little setup timer method that's gonna set up our NS timer. And I'll show you how that works in a second. Should be good. So let's go ahead down and take a look at some of these methods. Um, we have our IB action, which uh, is going to, when we click that, it's going to stop the music, okay? Um, basically saying the song is over. This is our Boolean we created. Well, I'll show you how we're going to, why we're using that. Um, and then stop music equals yes. Again, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. And this is our start button. And basically the way this works is, um, so how this works is it checks to see if the audio player is um, is playing anything. If it's not, it just returns us, doesn't do anything. But if it is, then it's going to see if it's in a pause state. And if it is, um, then it's going to resume play. And then so we're going to show our pause image so that you can click on that image to pause it. And vice versa over here, it will pause the music and show our play image so that you can play image. So you can click on the play image to resume play, right? Makes sense. Okay, so the next thing we'll look at is this play this song method, which takes in a spot. So that's when you click on the song, the um, this here, this did select row is going to give you which song you um, clicked on by giving you the index path dot row which is going to give you a number in our instance between 0 and 4, which will represent each spot in the array list. And actually, I'll uncheck this so they can actually do that now, since we have that method in here now. So it'll, it'll send that index row to here. And we're using this counter to keep track of where we are because we want the songs to play one after the other after we start them, like a regular kind of music app would. Um, when, you, when you play a list, it's going to go through them, and it's going to start wherever you click it to start right? Um, whatever song you select. So that's what's going on here. So, and we're going to show the pause image after we play the button, after we play the song so that we can pause the song if we need to. Um, and this is just getting the name of the song from the song's array. And as I said before, we're putting together a 
and a string called song to play. And this is looking at my, I told you I have a web host um, at this domain. And we're looking in this folder called beats, which again, remember that's right here. And we're going to put that together with the name of the song in the array. All right, so we're combining, um, creating a, a combined string that's going to give us the web address of the song we want to play. And then so then we're going to tell, tell the audio player, which is a part of this streaming kit, to play this song, right? And then we're going to actually show the name of the song on the screen. That's what's happening here. And then we're going to show the number of the song. And I'm, I add one to the song spot because, you know, our array is zero based. But we the first song in the array should be song number one. So that's why we're adding, we're incrementing that. Whatever it is, we're going to increment it by one when we show the number of the song. And then we show that to the screen right here um, by formatting our int uh, to a NS string. Um, and then we change this variable so that... Um, the music could now be stopped. Um, uh, it's just a variable that changed. I'll show you how we use that. And then we reload the table. I'll show you why we do that in a second too. Um, but we reload the table to show what song is actually selected. Um, this is our NS timer that basically is just going to go through and keep track of where we are in the song. And it's going to call this tick method, which is right here which basically is going to say, hey, is the song playing? If it's not, then let's clear our labels. Um, if it is, then let's go ahead and show, that's what's right here for the, our label text, is going to show where we are in the song, our progress. This is a built-in method for the streaming kit, and then um, the duration of the song. So it's going to show where we are in the song and duration. So you know we're at 0.2 out of 10 seconds, you know something like that. Um, and then this else part here, so if the music is done playing, basically, and these Booleans are all what we want them to be, then we're going to go ahead and increment our count, and we're going to go play the next song. So this basically, this little feature here allows us to go on to the next song um, automatically without selecting it. And this is letting us know if the song is buffering. And this keeps track of converting everything from our NS timer to showing us actual um, seconds on the screen. So that's all that is. Okay. So uh, I still need to add. Actually, well, let me play this, and then I'll, I'll show you what I need to add still. So we'll click on Cool Beats, and then let's click on the song. And you see here it is playing. Can you hear that? And. This is giving you the time complete. We should go right on to the next song. Let's see if that works. Great. So and it updates you with the number of the song, the name. And, but I could kind of, let's say we just want to skip this one. I can click on this, and now we're playing that song. Okay. And I can say, hey, let's go back to the first song. Right now. I can pause it. See how the play button comes up. Hit play. Let's stop it. It stopped. Exact. Let's play it again. So that's pretty nice functionality. The last thing I'm going to add to this is I'll highlight these so that we can see which one's playing. And let me show you how to do that real quick. So I'm going to go the last little bit of code that I need to copy here. Table right here. And so this now will highlight. Basically what it's doing is um, if our index is equal to our count, then we're going to make that one gray. Um, otherwise, the background is white. So that we have a selection for our for our, our, the song that is actively playing. So right now, it's it's doing that right now. So cool beats is selected. So I click here, click this. Now I can go to this one and see how it updates it. So whatever one we select, and now it should actually even update it when it moves on itself. The next song should be, yeah, see how it highlighted the next song. That's perfect. So that's a your music streaming app. Um, let me know if you have any questions. This is kind of a cool little interface, though. Um, you can make this a lot slicker, obviously. You can put a next and a back button. Um, you can use different colors. This is all kind of grayscaled right now. Uh, I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.